All right. <clears throat> Welcome back here to Force 13. And the first thing I'd like to say is I apologize for the technical difficulties that we have experienced here. Uh, something went awry in the last live stream. I'm not 100% sure what happened. Uh, but clearly something got messed up in YouTube. Um, however, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to simply uh, summarize what we went over. And that's basically that Hurricane Michael has been officially upgraded to a Category 5 by the National Hurricane Center. The report just came out uh, with their report. Uh, they kept it at 135 knots operationally because they wanted to take a look at all the data, make sure that they weren't overestimating the storm. And what they've come out with is they said that at least their operational intensities are usually have an uncertainty of plus or minus 10%, which is actually like plus or minus 15 miles an hour with uh, the operational stuff. So at least at that intensity, it's like plus or minus 15 miles an hour. So they're, it's actually quite a big uncertainty with the operational intensity. Uh, but what they do is they go on to say that uh, 140 knots is backed up by uh, recon uh, with an observation of 137 knots at the surface and 138 knots uh, at the surface, respectively. And the SFMR winds support an intensity greater than 135 knots. And as I'll get into here, it, it, there is actually support of the storm being as strong as potentially 145. Uh, the second one is the radar analysis, which they end up concluding that the storm could have been as strong as 145 knots with an equivalent surface wind speed of 149 knots. But again, this is radar. That's usually an overestimate and the average over four volume scans uh, put it at 144 knots but again radar pretty typically an overestimate uh, they say that there is an analysis uncertainty inherent in the methodology due to the location and direction of the maximum winds relative to the radar site as small errors in the assumed wind direction could cause errors of several knots in the calculated winds. So just keep that in mind that uh, just a little variation, just like five degrees, uh, can like change what the radar says in winds by a lot. Um, so another thing. Another thing that ends up supporting the intensity is that they did an objective analysis of the radar data. Uh, and that ends up coming to 135 to 140 knots. So that's one of the lower adjustments. So we've gotten an analysis of around 145. We have recon saying 140. And we have this technique with radar saying 135 uh, to 140. We have some surface observations, which really don't say much because the winds are going to be slower on the surface. Obviously, uh, the drag coefficient on land is much, much stronger than the drag coefficient on water. So as soon as the storm makes landfall, uh, the winds on land are going to drop a bit. Um, they also state that Michael's minimum landfall pressure is assessed at 919 millibars and it's based on three data points we have a drop zone of 922 a pressure of 920.2 measured at 1713 and a pressure of 922.4 and simultaneous hurricane force winds at the Tyndall Air Force Base uh, so that's where they get the 919 millibars from uh, the 919 millibars can be used to estimate the maximum sustained winds from various wind pressure relationships. That comes out to 142 knots. Uh, the 
The relationship used in the Atlantic Near Reanalysis Project for intensifying hurricanes would yield 135 knots. And finally, my personal favorite, the Napser Courtney relationship uh, yields intensity of 140 knots. So that pretty much all converges uh, at 140. Uh, and then they say, of course, there's also the satellite. And satellite is anywhere in the range of 140 to 145 knots. So with that discussion in mind, uh, they said, well, there's some 135s or some 145s, but most of it's 140. So they're like, boom, they're going to smack it. 140 knots, Category 5. Uh, that'll make it the fourth uh, hur hurricane to make landfall in the contiguous United States as a Category 5. It's the third strongest of these hurricanes. And it's also important to note that uh, Michael is the latest that a Category 5 has ever made landfall in the United States. So, and it also notes here that future revisions to the Florida landfall intensity are possible as additional reassessment is expected once the research on the reliability of SFMR at these high wind speeds is complete. So they're going to take a look at some of the SFMR speeds, which suggested almost 150, over 150 knot winds. Uh, but they don't know if that is necessarily accurate. So they're going to look into that. So there's a potential that Michael might have its intensity bumped up even further. So that's pretty much... So that's pretty much it. That's the reason why they upgraded Michael back up to, well, upgraded Michael up to a Category 5. It was obviously a very quickly intensifying system. Um, it only, they only have the storm being the Category 5 at, for about a half an hour, and that's it. Like, this storm, because it intensified so quickly, it was only a Category 5 for that brief time right at landfall intensified right up to landfall uh which you don't see very often uh this is not something that is very typical for these storms uh but yeah they have the storm being a category five for one half of an hour so there you go uh hurricane michael category five 140 knots 919 millibars at 1730 Z. So that's the official update on Hurricane Michael. Of course, Force 13 analysis did put Michael up to a Category 5 upon looking at uh, surface observations as well as looking at the recon data. We reached pretty much the same conclusion that the NHC did. Uh, we didn't think that it would be much higher than 140. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much right in line with our analysis. So that's always a good thing to see that shows that we're doing accurate uh, research, obviously. So, yeah, that this is just... So we're going live here. Uh, hopefully this continues to stay live throughout the entire time because I have no idea what happened in the previous stream, and I really apologize for that stream cutting out. We did have Nathan here for that. Uh, but unfortunately, he's not here... Uh, any longer he's currently on vacation so uh, that's going to be it for this stream keep your eye out on the force 13 us channel as they're going to be providing live coverage for the severe weather outbreak uh, that's currently going on in the southeastern united states uh, that is very important and uh, keep an eye out on this channel for further updates the tropics are pretty much quiet worldwide right now uh, this is usually a quiet period, April, May. I mean, the Southern Hemisphere season's pretty much dying down. The Northern Hemisphere seasons haven't gotten started yet, really. So, uh, April and May tend to be a rather slow period before the West Pacific really starts to ramp up in late May. And then we have the East Pacific starting to ramp up in June. So... Keep an eye out on Force 13 US later today and keep an eye out uh, on this channel for future videos and future updates. Uh, thank you for tuning in.